What's good, everybody? This is my uh, my gym with the uh, Brooklyn Nets. I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, get a stack team. You know how just how I do it. You know, and of course, the first person I'm gonna trade is Paul Pierce. Got Shumpert and uh, Bryani for him. Not about to trade Joe Johnson. You know, you go to the uh, I forget what it's called, but the, you know the trade suggestions. So I'm about to trade Joe. For a first round pick from Philly, and how I do the uh, picks is uh, I simulate through the season up until about like January, and then I go see who's at the bottom of the standings, and those are the teams that you want to trade first round picks with, because those are the teams that are gonna have high draft picks when the season's over, because you don't want to wait until the draft, because then they know what pick they have, and you know you gonna have to give up more to get those picks. So it's best to do it before the trade deadline during the season. So I traded Joe for a first round pick. And I traded Darren Williams for a first round pick. Right here, I was trying to trade KG, but he got a uh, no trade clause. So every time I tried to trade him, I couldn't trade him. It was cool though. And then I ended up when I got to free agency in the offseason, I ended up releasing them. When I probably shouldn't have, I probably should have kept them, but it was cool. Because I'd ended up having to get rid of them anyway. Because I, I was trying to free up salary space, but when I released them, they didn't free up any uh, cap space. So after I do all my trades, send them to the offseason. Do the uh, draft lottery. I had what? I think I had four picks. I had four first round picks. I got 10, which I think was my pick. I think that was my team's pick. Then I had seven. I got pick seven. Pick three. Pick one. I didn't show y'all, but when y'all making the trades, by you want to trade everybody on your team that's not in the last year they deal. So when the season's over, you want to have everybody on your team in the last year they deal. So when the season's over, you don't have anybody under contract. So when free agency comes around, you know your cap space is freed up, and you just try to sign the top free agents because that's how I got Carmelo I could have got LeBron but when Carmelo signed LeBron tried to sign and I didn't have enough cap space so right there I made a deal with the Lakers traded my 17 pick and Jason Richardson trying to free up space Trying to free up cap space. So right there, you seen Melo has yeah, signed with us. I'm signing Chris Bosh right now, just so I can use him as trade bait. Because when I sign Chris Bosh, I'm finna trade him and one of my rookies for Kevin Love. So all the rookies I just drafted, I'm gonna trade them because I don't like playing with creative players. Like I mean, you could keep them. Cause all like every like he the rookie I'm trading right now he had the lowest overall so his overall was seventy eight. Another rookie I drafted his overall was seventy nine. The other rookie I drafted his overall was eighty. That was a point guard and then the shooting guard the number one pick his overall was eighty eight. So I mean you could keep those players or you could trade them. You know and I'm gonna trade them so I could get a you know current players because I want to play with current players but if you want to keep the rookies what you want to do is like so I had the four rookies so you play two years with them and because you're not going to be able to resign all of them because of the salary cap so what you want to do is as they develop you're going to want to trade two of them for first round picks again so then you just can keep that cycle going. 
and you you keep doing that over and over again and you want to keep drafting you know rookies in the top top three top five and keep them on your team under their rookie contracts and then trade them before their rookie contracts over before you have to pay them i mean that's how you can keep that keep that going I traded for Olin Depot and the next day they fired their coach. He was with the Magic. Magic fired their coach after they traded Olin Depot to me. So then here, that's the first round pick. He's overall 87. I'm trading him for Michael Carter Williams and Noel. And they talking about Clay Thompson because he wasn't happy because he was on the bench behind Olin Depot. So then here I'm trading the point guard, I'm trading the last rookie, getting Terrence Ross. Get two first round picks on the Raptors. And then this is my star five. 